This first one is called Medical Examine. Medical Examine. Okay, this is autobiographical. Seawater winters in oblique light, washed by rain. Turn skim the marsh waters. Ice scrapes the rushes clean. Tops asleep, slipping into shadow. Soon white fire behind the pinhole skinning dark will be stars. Shadows fall into my brain like deca coat and box of bean. I was not comprehensible, but there was a nurse to watch wash me. The cottages with their curtains and dreams of breathing. All night long there will be a prowling of dragonflies and skulks, heads dropping into wounds. I am thinking of a darkened road, my best feet skittering, the black skimmers of evening gone to roost with gulls in the shallows. A woman is weeping, but she is not my woman. The boy on the table has bled out internally, a gash on his head, bones speaking their language, a rooting syringe drawing blood from his heart. His brains have been knocked from one side of his head to the other. He had a father and mother in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. Don't ever be a medical examiner. This next is called, uh, it's appropriate for this place because it's, uh, where do the crabs go? Where do the crabs go, leaving their shadows behind them? What presses their return from the autumnal reef? In the winter, I shall row with a stranger beside me, call him an old hand, hand it with a sail. Let the stranger spend his knowledge of all things passing, the fiery sun that blushes to be born, the stirrings in the cottages, the demarcations of the gulf. I shall row from the darkness of my brain, where charts have no meaning, and my friends of the air cannot see one another. And should you move with me, sidereally, beyond the shallows, your petticoats behind you, and the tide of lore, you may hope to discover no eddy of days or hands or shows, only ourselves, ghosts of light and timeless travelers. Some fisherman on the bay will look up from his catch and say, with a blue sook listening, I am a living thing. I breathe and I am dying. But that is not what we'll whisper with our voices of shelled things in our skins of water. 